the greatest duo in Celtics history, had half of Boston's 132 points in Oklahoma City. Despite missing their point guard and center while being on the second night of a back-to-back, Derek White and specifically Beantown's Batman Grant Williams stepped up in the starting five, combining to make 12 of their 24 field goals. Backup point guard out of Oregon and Peyton Pritchard's numbers post-All-Star break have been stellar, and he dropped 18 points against the Thunder. This video shows you how the Boston Celtics are doing the impossible, and is this finally the year for Jason and Jalen to go the distance in the postseason? According to this recently tatted up diehard fan, the answer to that is yes, but stick around to find out my prediction for the 2022 Celts. Just 10.1% of my audience is subscribed, so if you haven't done so, be sure to hit subscribe and turn on notifications so you're updated on the ins and outs of the NBA. Also, leave a thumbs up. It takes a few seconds and makes a massive difference. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at eFlowHoops, and I'll follow you back. Link is down below in the description for those two platforms. Completely shifting the narrative, since dropping to 16 wins and 19 losses on December 29th, the Boston Celtics have reeled off a 29-9 record with a 104.1 defensive rating since that date. The defensive rating gap over the last 38 games between the number one ranked Celts and number two ranked Dallas Mavs is the same gap between the number two ranked Mavs and the number 16 ranked Los Angeles Clippers. This dominant stretch has also given Boston the number one defense on the season overall, just ahead of the Phoenix Suns. You can attribute a lot of that success to Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, who against the Sacramento Kings a few days ago, each scored 30 points for a record-setting fifth time throughout the 2022 season. That's the most by a pair of teammates in a season throughout Celtics history, surpassing Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, who had four such games in 1986-87. The C's best player and one of the NBA's top superstars right now in Jason Tatum is rounding into playoff form at the most ideal time. 34.4 point per game averages this month on 53-46-90 shooting splits and a ridiculous 68% true shooting percentage over 10 games played. That's been the main reason for why Boston's nearly gone undefeated this month, aside from a loss after Spencer Dinwiddie hit a game-winning three for Dallas. Tatum's only missed four outings the entire year as he's played the most games on the Celtics. We'll get into a film room breakdown on his 54 piece in Brooklyn, but if you're wondering why Boston owns the NBA's most efficient defense, Al Horford ranking second among all players behind Rudy Gobert in defensive rating is a big factor, but that's also due to Jason Tatum along with his running mate on the wing Jalen Brown. Those two forwards rank first and second in defensive rating among small forwards, specifically Tatum with his 6'11 reach, swift rotations on the back end of Boston's defense, and springiness have made him a dominant defensive talent in 2021-22. Tatum's 105.9 rating on this end of the floor is ninth best among all players and far ahead of his teammate and the second ranked Jalen Brown among all small forwards. Right here, as one of OKC's prospects thinks he's made a slick fake screen and slipped to the basket, watch how Tatum perfectly baits the attacking player into the layup with his body language, faking like he's about to let him up for a lay-in before shuffling quickly over to the right spot, planting his feet and mercilessly stuffing the soft layup attempt on the weak side. So, of course, give a ton of credit to Rob Williams and Al Horford's rim protection, but you can't dismiss Tatum's defensive versatility and paint presence as well. Displaying all types of stop-and-go crossovers and hesitations, leading to fundamentally sound pull-up deep-range bombs against OKC, Jason Tatum had his eighth 30-point game in March already, dropping 36 on Monday night. But the game we're going to significantly dive into in the film room was when JT tied Larry Bird for a franchise record-setting 54-piece recently in a six-point win over the Kevin Durant-led Nets. What goes overlooked with most generational scores is how they start the game by setting up their teammates, which in turn opens up the floor for what they do best later on. After getting a handoff and double screen from Smart and Horford, with three players expecting him to pull up, this lob to Robert Williams keeps the defense guessing. We've talked about Jason's defense being an underrated factor to his game, but in transition right here after Smart and Grant blow their layups, Tatum's overlooked offensive rebounding and stick to itiveness is displayed as he grabs the O board in traffic despite being sandwiched by two Nets players going up for a beastly and one. But in a give and go handoff action with the recently reacquired Daniel Tice, JT shows off what he does best. After catching the handoff from Tice, key in on how Tatum slightly jab steps to his left, fooling Kyrie, 
and a big body from Tice pins Kyrie, giving JT an open look. The man's 6'11 wingspan not only helps him defensively, but whether he's pulling up after a few momentum crossovers or just putting his head down and attacking the basket, the high release point that Tatum has makes him unstoppable. We haven't talked too much about Jalen Brown, but another Celtics video breaking down the former All-Stars impact could definitely be made. Leave a thumbs up if you want to see that. Brown's going to be brought up later on in this video when I get to my early 2022 Celtics prediction. Going up against the Joker in the Mile High City, the timely play of role player Grant Williams earned him the nickname of the Batman. While Sunday's win in Denver was the night that Grant Williams found out that he wanted to be called the Batman, where he made half of his shots from both the field and from three-point range, scoring 13 points to help take down the Joker, Monday night's victory in Oklahoma City was the moment he became the Batman. Grant's discovered the kind of hero he wants to be, as against OKC, Williams was a game high plus 21, stepping up with 20 points in the absence of Robert Williams. Boston's number 26 overall selection in 2020, and now sophomore Peyton Pritchard is really starting to come around as of late. In that win against the Thunder, Peyton chipped in with 18 points, and over his last 10 games in 17 minutes per night, the former Oregon Duck is averaging an important 8.5 points per game, shooting 52% from the field, 50% from three, and he's hit every one of his free throws. Pritchard recently spoke on how his season's turned around, saying, after the trade deadline, I looked at that as this is my opportunity. And Pritchard also added that he never lost confidence in his shot and didn't change his mechanics, saying my shot's always been there. In terms of my Celtics 2022 playoff predictions, don't forget this Boston team was forced to play last year's postseason without Jalen Brown, who suffered a torn ligament in his wrist and having the second option of this team healthy should almost definitely get Boston out of the first round where they were taken care of by the Nets big three in five games last postseason. While the Tatum and Brown combos failed to make the finals quite yet, the difference in 2022 is that we've never seen Jason Tatum creating shots like we're witnessing right now and both JT and the Celtics as a whole are peaking at the absolute perfect time. As the great Ray Lewis once said, defense wins championships, and Coach Ime Udoka is stopping opponents with the highest efficiency by far in the second half of the season. That's why Boston's my early favorite to come out of the Eastern Conference. Who's the X Factor for the Boston Celtics? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out. Top five commenters with the most shout outs by June 21st receive free NBA merchandise of their choosing this summer. So leave your take on today's question to compete in Community Speaks. Today's Speaks winner is Stefan Rose, who says Cam Johnson is the Sun's most intriguing young talent. Pause to read his take as well as the honorable mentions. This was D-Flow. I hope you have a great one, and I'll see you next time.